G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, I've got another new mold for you. I've been working on this one for ages, trying to get a perfect beta fish for you. And I think it's gorgeous. It is huge. It's bigger than a dinner plate. That's the back. You can kind of see how the, the fish turns like that. And it's got this big fin there and it's got another two fins out there in there it's got gorgeous scales on its body and it's got another fin up here and it's got little eyeballs with the hair on them now I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna try again to put eyes into um, into my fish so um, and then I'm gonna dust it with my usual chameleon powders because I love those I've picked these kind of orangish ones they're the same ones I use for my turtles these are eight millimeters and I'm gonna try and put them in with the UV resin. I've got my little UV lamp here that I'm going to use rather than get the other one out. So sometimes I have success with it and then sometimes the eyes fall off but let's we'll see. Uh, oh gosh this way. This way. Actually I might. It's got a sticky bit on the back there. I keep touching it. This is the UV resin from um, Let's Resin. Now, I think, I think what I'll do is, I think, because it's not easy, it's not hard to get to the eyes from here. They're, they're right here. Just going to put a blob in there. Hopefully it's not too much. I might have overfilled it a little bit. Okay, tricky for me to see because I normally I would bring it right up to my my eyeballs to look at so glass side down the other side's just a bit of paper and just oh can you see just push it in there okay now a little bit of the uv resin's kind of oozed out the side so i'm going to try and just kind of wipe it a little bit with my finger I'll get a baby wipe I think my drop was a bit big going in you can kind of feel that it's in the right place it, it's just got a little hollow for the eye and it's it sort of fits in there quite nicely all right let's try this I haven't used this very much but let's just try it now on this side obviously there's paper so you know the lights not going to go through the paper but I'm hoping it's just going to kind of get that little bit of resin that's oozed out the side just to hold it and then I'll go around from there as well and get that side so I'm going to do that to both of the eyes um, and then um, I'll come back to you Righto, that's the gold done. Just clean off my brush and we'll move on to the next colour. So I thought these would look nice together. I've got dark green, which kind of throws a bluey green. We've got galaxy, which is a kind of a purpley tone. There's dark magenta, which is a pinky gold. And then deep blue. As far as I remember, the deep blue doesn't like color shift very much but I just want to have a little bit of blue in there anyway all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my colors ready like so put the little lids next to them there's not that much difference between all of these they're kind of all pinky purpley shades And um, yeah, can you see those? I'll bring you down. You can have a look, see what I've done already. And the eyes are still in there. Hopefully they'll stay. Look at that. And then there's my colors. So they're, they're kind of similar-ish. I think that'll look nice. So I'm just gonna do probably pick one color at a time and do it and then uh, yeah just move on until I've got them all done so um, sure how long it'll take me 
I'll just I'll do a little bit and then I'll come come up the sides <laughs> when you're not watching because it's going to take me a while to come up the sides as well. So we'll just we'll just start here, shall we, with some purple. Actually, I better go up the side as well. Otherwise, otherwise I'm not going to remember which color I've used, am I? So I'm just going to kind of do one and then miss one and then do a bit more and. You get the general idea. Just like so. And hopefully they'll kind of all blend. I don't want too much, so I just sort of have to tap it on the little jar. Because I don't want to get too much powder in there because then it's it's difficult to get rid of it. You know, you, you blow it and it goes everywhere. So I'm just going to have to kind of use it use it or lose it all right so there's that one so i'm going to keep going with the same color so that i don't have to keep cleaning my brush so um yeah i will put you on um i'll put you on a time lapse and you can just watch me do this And then I'm going to mix up some resin and of course it's going to be the black resin, black tinted resin because the black always shows the chameleon colours the best. So once I've done that and I've got my black resin all sorted, I'll come back to you. So just enjoy the process. Right, that is done and that's what it's looking like at the moment looking so gorgeous hopefully I've sort of blended the colors a little bit there's a tiny bit of green there I can't see a lot of green I can see a lot of gold <laughs> I didn't even use gold in those ones but obviously it's one of the colors so you look at it that way and it's pink and then you look at it this way and it's gold so anyway I've mixed up my black let's pop you back up on the stand Okay, I have decided to use the Platinum River Table Resin only because it's quite deep in here. It's probably almost two inches deep, way down in there. But if you wanted to just do it in regular resin, I would suggest just pouring the body of the fish first because it's quite deep um, and then doing the, a second layer. So yeah, either way. Depends on um, how deep you can pour your resin, really. Every resin seems to be a little bit different. You just don't want it to, you know, get cure too fast and get too hot. Um, oh, look, it's going into the body. There it goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, you, you don't want your resin to get too hot because if it gets too hot, it'll it'll act similar to a torch, you know, and it'll it'll melt your mold so just be careful about the type of resin that you're using I hope I got enough <laughs> I did 300 grams of A and 130 grams of B so hopefully I've got enough because I'm pretty much out of my river table resin now might be a tiny little bit left if I hold it upside down for a little while I may have to mix up a little bit more if I want this to be totally full. So I would say, I'm not exactly sure, but I would say that this mould is going to hold about 
two cups. I have two cups of resin. You don't have to fill it all the way because I'm in the sides there. As long as they're covered, you don't have to fill it all the way. But I think that, um, you know, you, you get that really 3D gorgeous effect if uh, you do fill it up all the way. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more. I just cover this. And um, oh, it's going to take about a day and a half to set so or to cure. So I'll come back to you then. I'll, I'll finish filling this up and um, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's ready and I am so excited. I can hardly contain my excitement. All right, now where shall we start? So it's, uh, it's I poured this yesterday in the morning. So now it's 7 p.m. And I'm not quite sure how to unmold it. I'll just, I'm just gonna kind of loosen it all around. It's a big mold, you guys. It's a big one. But, you know, I like I like the big molds. I think if you're going to make a statement piece, it needs to be a statement piece. I want it to be big so that you can hang it on the wall. This can be a... a um, cups on my finger. <laughs> um, yeah, a, a wall plaque. Oh, now, I must, I must apologise. Um, when I was dusting the... Um, the gold, I thought I'd pressed record, but I, th I think I pressed stop. And then when I finished dusting, then I pressed record. So I missed that. So I do apologize. Oh, it hasn't happened to me for so long that um, I've done that. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna, that's the head in there. So I'm gonna do the head last because it's kind of the deeper section. I'm just trying to, I probably look as if I'm doing it awkwardly because I'm trying to keep it in um, in frame here. Pull that, pull that. And I'm trying not to peek either. So <laughs> no peeking, no peeking. Right, pop that little bit out from under there. It's a nice thick mould. Certainly not a flimsy mould. The actual mould itself weighs about 600 grams. So it's quite a heavy mould. I'm going to get that bit out there. So I'll pull from under here. So it's got these little things that you can hang on to as well and, and to just help you to, um, you know, release them. There we go. Got it. All right. Oh, it's out. Oh, I didn't even realize that was the head. I was thinking that was the head there. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's come out really pretty. Not not too much cleanup to do just around here with a, um, a baby wipe. So, yep, came out really clean, didn't it? Wow. Okay. Now, this is so exciting. Look, I can see the eyes. I can see the eyes. They look as if they're still there. So, <laughs> yay! Yay me. <clears throat> All right, let's hope they, they look nice. Okay, how shall, how shall we do this? Let's, let's do it this way. Okay, are you ready? Oh, so exciting. Are you ready? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. That is gorgeous. Look at his eyes, look at his eyes. There's one, there's the other. Oh, they're so pretty. You could put a little black, bit of black in his little mouth if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, all right, let's start up here. Where should we start? We'll start up here. Look at that. So this bit here, this was the maple. And this is the one that I didn't get to show you because I was not concentrating. That was um, maple. And then the body with the scales was gold, gold. All right. Oh, it looks so pretty. Love it. So it's got this sort of coppery tone and across there as well. And then the body has got the scales all the way down, all the way down here. There's the other side of the body, and then this fin. Is this a fin? It, yeah, it kind of touches this tail bit here. 
So it kind of strengthens that a little bit. Oh, I just love that face. Oh, gosh. All right. And then we've got these two, these two fins out here. And then, of course, this big tail. Now, the thing about the tail that I love is, look, look at that. So it's not just flat, you know, it comes down here, it goes up there, it goes back down, right down in here, and then back up again like that, and then back up here. So you're really getting that really lovely movement of the fish, the flow of the tail, very realistic. And then sort of back down here, and then back up again. And it goes thin over there again, but not too thin. Still reasonable, still a reasonable amount. All right, now let's see if we can check out the different colors. I see mainly pink and purple. Pink and purple. If I tilt it, I can see some bits of green here and here and here. Little bits of green here and there. Um, blue. Oh, yeah, there's some blue. There's some blue. There's blue up here where my thumb is. There's blue down here. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you think of it, guys. I've been planning this one for so long. It took me months to design it and get it just the way I wanted it, you know, with all these um, different levels and the flowiness and everything. It's, yeah, really happy with it. So this is my first pour in it. So I'm super excited, super excited. If you want one, uh, I will link it for you in my eBay store down below. They will be in my US Amazon store very soon. Just not quite yet, but they will be. But if you can't wait, you can buy one from my eBay store. Uh, but if you're overseas, uh, you're in the US, you can just wait about a month or so and then um, there'll be some there as well. I've shipped some over there. It just takes so long. All right, there we go. Love those eyes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my fish. I am in love with it. All right. Take care, guys. See you all for the next video. And I want to put shells in the next one. Oh, I've got verbal diarrhea tonight. <laughs> you know how when I did my turtles, I just did that really pale aqua and then I backed it with um, some sea sand or some shells? How amazing would that look? Or maybe some cellophane, you know, like holographic changing of cellophane, something like that. I think that would look really pretty too. So lots of ideas. Let me know down in the comments what you would do with this fish because I definitely want to do some more. And I think when my daughter Christy comes up, she's going to want to do one as well. So watch this space. I'll take a nice photo of it outside for you because it's late now and it's dark outside. There's a bit of blue. <laughs> it's lovely watching all the different colours. All right, I better go. I better go. Leave you guys to it. All right. See you all real soon for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.